welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, come on in. I'll scoot over and make room for you around my desk and we can craft together. Whether you're working on a crochet project, a knit project, or whatever you're working on, I'm glad you're here. I am loving how the colors of my blanket are playing out. I just, I love these colors. It looks so pretty. It looks so springy. And some people say it does look like a birthday cake. And so, that's good. I just really love it. I am. I am loving this. And I, I got to get busy on it because I, I want to use this blanket. <laughs> like, this is going to be my blanket. Most of the time, I make something. I don't keep it for myself. Or even if I keep it and have it in a tote box, I don't use it. But I, I will be using this blanket. <laughs> so guys, how's your Saturday to go in? I hope you're all doing wonderful. It is late Saturday when I'm getting around to recording this. Because I'll just be totally honest. Um, for Yesterday was Friday. Big Daddy and I went to my doctor's appointment in Shreveport, and that trip just kicked my rear, okay? I have been struggling all day just to recover from that. It was a, a long, hard day. The appointment was good. Wasn't nothing about the appointment. It's just the ride over there. I mean, it's two and a half hours. And then, you know, doing the appointment and whatever else, and then the ride back home. It's a, it's a long, hard day. We got in about 9 o'clock last night, and so, yeah, we were both pretty tired, wore out. And so today, we've just been resting, being lazy. I hadn't accomplished anything today, and that's okay. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I need to kick it in high gear and do something around here, but I don't know. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to worry about it today. <laughs> Not going to worry about it today because i just been trying to recover from yesterday. Through, you know, long trips or long outings because it was an all-day thing. Um, do those wear you out like that where the next day or two you just need to recover? I know even for me, just going and doing something around town, <laughs> I have to recover from that. I'm in my corner, so I gotta put two chains. So I know some of you guys are working on this blank, same kind of blanket, you know, and a lot of you are ahead of me, and that's fine. That's fine. We're not, we're not um, like in any kind of race or anything like that. We're just crocheting and hanging out. And if um, some people might crochet more on theirs, but I'm I'm pretty much saving mine for videos, but um. I might crochet a little bit more on it, but I have some other things that I want to crochet too, but honestly, I hadn't crocheted on them either, so <laughs> I have things I want to do, not things I'm doing, but I'm going to get around to it. Hopefully, this next week will be better for me. Um, I was off this week, and it just kind of threw a whole wrench in my whole week to be honest but I'm crocheting right along on this I do like how that white pops in there and then it starts a new sequence of the colors over so yeah so what have y'all been doing today? What's been going on in your world? Um, we, like I said, we haven't done anything today. Um, tomorrow, I would like for us to get the house all clean and um, <coughs> check outside if anything needs to be put away or done because we're supposed to get a lot of rain this next week, like a lot of rain. Um... And I think even, you know, the eclipse, we're supposed to have rain all that day, so we may not even see much of that. 
I did stop at Sonic and I got a blackout fl eclipse float. <coughs> Wait, let me think of the name of it. A blackout slushy float. I think that's the name of it. Anyway, it's basically a grape slushy with ice cream in it, but it was good. I got that on the way home from a Shreveport last night, and they even gave a pair of glasses to watch the eclipse. <laughs> She said, let me run back in. I forgot to get something for you. I was like, okay. And then she come back with a pair of glasses and said, you get a pair of glasses since you ordered the um, Eclipse slushy or whatever it's called, Blackout slushy. So I thought that was interesting. I mean, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> I won't be going outside in the rain. I'll just watch it from here at my um, desk at the computer screen. I mean, my security screen up there. Huh. Yeah, I heard that um, New York, there was an earthquake up there. Um, and someone asked me, had I ever experienced one? No, I have not. But I imagine that is very scary. Um, even if it doesn't cause any damage, just the shaking would be terrifying and not knowing, you know? So, my heart does go out to anyone who felt that <coughs> and had to, you know, live through that. Goodness. Uh. So, someone asked, okay, so, so the other day I had a question about... Um, if you could only use one color of yarn, and I love y'all's answers. Some of y'all were so creative using white, and they're gonna dye the yarn. <laughs> oh, I was cracking up at that, and several of you thought of that. And so, someone else asked, okay, so along the same lines, if you could only crochet one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Now, I don't know if... It's saying, I don't know if they meant, like, if you could only crochet amigurumis, would it be, like, okay, you can crochet all amigurumis, or would it be, like, only teddy bears? You know, do you pick the only one amigurumi you're going to crochet, or do you get to just say amigurumis? <laughs> or blankets, or what? I don't know. I don't know what mine would be. It might be blankets. Mm, it might just be granny squares. And then I can do whatever I want to do with them. Whether I made it into shirts or blankets or whatever. Right? I don't know. <laughs> but I do like I do like crocheting a granny square. Yep. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to scroll right here. I have to do use it with two hands. But I was going to scroll down. I didn't write down the questions because it takes about an hour to go through and read. And I lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. That takes about an hour to go through and read the questions and write them down. And I was really just wanting to go ahead and video because... I was getting tired and sleepy and needed to take a nap. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just scrolling real quick, just looking for any questions. Um, I read them through already. I don't, I don't know where this one's at, but somebody did ask a question about, um, someone had asked me about if I won the lottery uh, what would I do? And I said, I know that we would buy the homeschoolers a building. Um, and then they asked why. So this person asked, you know, why would the homeschoolers need a building that she thought when you homeschooled, you were at home? And that is true. That is true. <laughs> and I can see where that would be very confusing to someone who doesn't know. Um, so, yes, we homeschooled at home. But we would get together with other homeschoolers and have classes, parties, and things like that. You know, um, a gym for <clears throat> playing basketball and um, 
skating and things like that. Um, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yes, we, you know, we homeschooled at home, but we, we always had like co-op classes where we got together and, um, you know, take like art classes and different things, just, um, stuff like that for interaction and socialization. I mean, we just didn't sit home all the time and do nothing. We were busy, busy on the go with our homeschool group. We had, you know, play day at the park, um, the little theater where we would go and watch plays, um, and some of our homeschoolers were in the plays, um, we, you know, we had skating day, we had co-op day, some days we would just have, like, um, you know, you could, um, field trips to, uh, the curries or the pumpkin patch, Curry Farms, um, you know, different things like that. The Aviation Museum, and I don't know, all kinds of things. We we didn't just stay home. We were busy, busy, on the go. And yes, we would get together and have, you know, classes and such. And so if the homeschoolers right now, they have to get ask churches to let them, you know, use their church in Sunday school classrooms for, um, you know, the use for classes and getting together for stuff like that. And if they had their own building, they wouldn't have to rely on a church to do, so, to do a, such a thing. So that's why, that's why. <laughs> and I can totally see where that would be so confusing if you're thinking, well, why would the homeschoolers need a building? They're homeschooling at home. <laughs> Oh, we had, we had so much fun homeschooling, so many homeschool friends that sometimes we just could not even do the activities because <clears throat> I would be like, okay, we've, we've got to stay home and get schoolwork done. We can't go to the park today because we did this yesterday and this the day before, and we got to stay home today and get our schoolwork done. Let me get a drink. <clears throat> I'm just drinking some sweet tea today. Somebody said for yarn, they like the red heart wildflowers. <clears throat> I'm not sure I know what that is, the wildflowers. I'm going to have to look that up, red heart wildflowers, if I don't forget about it. But yeah, I, never, I don't know what yarn that is. Oh, Susan's re facing shoulder replacement. I hope that goes well for you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to read through these and find some questions here. It does... It does <clears throat> it it is better if I write the questions down beforehand, but it just takes so long. So let me see. Then I was talking about um, autoimmune diseases, how it's so different in different forms, and some people in the family get it and some people don't. I don't know. It is a mystery. <clears throat> it is a mystery, and they don't know why some people do and some people don't. But it is hard on the ones who do get them. Me and my sister both dealt with a lot of autoimmune diseases. And she passed away in 2020. But we had a lot of the same exact stuff going on. We were both seeing rheumatologists. 
<clears throat> and I went to the doctor with her a couple of times to see, you know, what, how her doctor was and what he said. And I didn't like her doctor at all. I thought he was a big smart aleck. Doctor. I heard a bird's outside just a hollering. Yeah. Uh. Well. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I can't scroll and read at the same time, obviously. <clears throat> but anyway. <laughs> Anyway, let's see. For the rest of the day, I am going to try to get, get my self in gear. I've got to get the house clean, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I may just wait and do that all in the morning and try to get it done. I might just crochet tonight. Um, crocheting on this blanket some and then I've got some other projects that I want to just get a get started on because I'm just letting time get past me by not working on them but I know I have projects I want to make for this event that we are going to do this summer And, <clears throat> um, I just, I gotta get started on them if I'm gonna get them done. I'm sorry, I looked back over to see if I saw any questions, but, um, doing that and being on video at the same time is, does not, it's not working well, and I apologize for that. Anyway, I am... Tomorrow, Big Daddy and I are going to record some videos. I have some Happy Mail videos, and we might even record those in, like, more than one and space them out a little bit. Depends on how long it's taking, but... Yeah, and um, he is going to read a story on a video, so he's going to record that. And let's see what else. I have some patina videos I want to do also, and he's got some ideas for some to do, so that'll be fun. But also tonight, or tomorrow, I just want to get in my doll room and spend some time doing something, you know, that I enjoy and to take my mind off everything else. So, I'm either going to work in there some tonight. I got to organize stuff. <clears throat> When you change dolls' clothes and looking for certain things, I tend to make a mess. <laughs> so I need to get things back under wraps and organized and put back where they belong. So that's my plans. My plans. Yesterday, I took some dolls with me to Shreveport and looked for a place to take some photos, but I just, I just didn't come up with anything. We looked around several places and <clears throat> couldn't find anywhere. So one day this next week, I'm probably just gonna do that. Well, it's gonna be raining. After the rain. <laughs> After the rain, I'm just gonna pack up some dolls one day and head to the park. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to check in with you all and tell you that I, my appointment was good. It was just a long day and tiring and just trying to recover from that today. No big deal. You know, it's just the way it is. We'll be okay. Just after a little rest, right? <laughs> But anyway, guys, I will let you get going. Like I said, I didn't have anything of importance to say, and I can't read the questions like this um, before I do 
tomorrow's video I will write down the questions so that I can answer those. Alright, hun. Um, I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. Bye, friends.